Kaya is one of the best beaches in Zanzibar, renowned for its calm, turquoise waters and absence of waves. I am Anna, I am traveling with my son Jan, and now we are in Tanzania, in a small coastal town called Paja, which is very popular among tourists. If you are staying in Paja, it's a fantastic opportunity to have a great day even without your own transportation at Michamvi Beach. And as usual, we will tell you how to get there without a taxi to save your money to use just local transportation. Mom, Mom let's go to the beach. All lessons are done. Let's go. In, in even mathematics. Every single lesson. To go to that beach, we need to get a bus. The bus is called Dala Dala. A Dala Dala could look like this, but this is another number. This Dala Dala goes to Stone Town. Some drivers transport passengers directly in the back. On cars, you can often see signs in Chinese. This is our Dala Dala, Makunduche Michambi. The ticket price is 1000 Tanzanian shillings per person. After 30 minutes we arrived and stopped opposite a local cafe. Mom, let's buy some bread. 500 won. One bread? Yep. What is it? It's sweet potato. Sweet potatoes. A sausage how much? 500. One sausage and one bread, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very often people here want to take a picture with a white person. Oh, that's nice. I like this photo. So we came to Michambi and uh, we decided to sit in the local cafe to have a rest a bit and I uh, ordered juice. Yes, I don't know the history of this bottle but I hope it will be okay. Ah, cassava! You see, it's a gift. Cassava. Mm. It's potato. Uh, we stay in Padje. Nyumbani Padje. It's a Michambi Safiris. So guys, we came to the final bus stop Michambia. Now we need to go on foot a bit and we appear at the amazing beach. Usually a fisherman house looks like this. Look how tiny it is. This small house even has a bathroom. If you see souvenir shops, it means that you are not far from the beach. Hooray! Just few minutes passed and we came to the ocean. Actually, you can swim here and have a lunch in a nice restaurant. The southern part of the beach is covered by a mangrove forest and that's where we are heading today. To reach this secret spot, we have to walk along the beach because it's not always possible to pass through the mangrove forest due to the tangled tree roots. Jan is putting on his swimming trunks and I am taking the bags. It turns out the tide is high and it might be challenging to walk, but I think we can manage. Actually, you can use special apps that show high tides and low tides. By the way, you can rent a kayak here. One hour approximately 10-15 dollars. Mm 
Now it's high tide, the water level is high, but we should go over there. We are being greeted by crabs. They see us and get frightened. It's clear that they struggle with the decision of finding a hole in the rocks to hide or jumping into the water. I am a bit scary of them too, especially the larger ones, and I prefer them to stay on the rocky wall. Yes, the water level is higher than I expected. Oh, it's deep here. However, on our way back, it will be low tide and less water. We almost came. It's very important not to drop the phone and the bag with the drone. Oh my god, the water is amazing. There is mangrove forest. High tide is the best time for swimming here. After a low tide, there is still air in the sand. That's why there is a lot of bubbles around my legs. There is a lot of water striders. They live in the salt water. Actually, you can see them in other places, but this is the most favorite place. Hello! The sand is strange here. It's very fine. And my feet literally sink. Great, we made it! Now we can relax, swim and sunbathe. Ura! Poa, how are you? I'm good, and you? Good! Karibu! Asante sana! Karibu sana! Asante sana! Привет! Hi! There are many activities that you can do at Michambi Beach. Subscribe my channel and see you in my next video. I will provide you with a detailed information what to do in Zanzibar. Be happy, enjoy your life and have a nice day!